transport in any community is a costly infrastructure that is invaluable to the many individuals and commuters that use it. The bus sector of state transit in Newcastle is one particular government agency that often struggles to meet bus users' needs. The agency that relies solely on the funding from the taxpayer's dollar to operate is under constant criticism from media and many Novocastrians. And recent fare increases and rate changes have caused much upset to those who use buses as a form of transport. Newcastle's branch of state transit is home to 165 buses, 105 are housed at the Hamilton Depot and the remaining 60 at Belmont. With up to 17 of these buses off the road every day due to mechanical maintenance, it is easy to understand why commuters are facing longer waiting times and increased delays. In the past year, main routes that run through Newcastle's CBD and Lake Macquarie suburbs have been axed and replaced by longer routes that don't go as many places. I myself could not catch a bus from my home suburb of Elibana to Newcastle University without changing buses twice and enduring a journey of one and a half hours when the car trip takes only 20 minutes. Bus driver Eddie of Route 226 has this to say. Well, I've been driving buses for about eight years now and I reckon there's less people using them than I've ever known. They don't want to wait. And I reckon the fare increases are a bit over the top. And the, the changed routes aren't taking people where they want to go. It's easier for them to drive. Yeah, even some of the regulars are complaining. But what can we do? There's not just not enough dollars to go around. And, and with, you know, like global warming, um, people should be looking to increase the use of public transport, not go to their cars. The security of the bus system is another issue that is always questioned. Graffiti and vandalism cost state transit hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. Even though harsher penalties have been introduced with a graffiti offender being ordered to pay $17,500, the problem is still on the increase. Individuals do not feel safe catching buses late at night or by themselves. Jessica agrees. I catch the bus every day to uni because um, I don't have my licence. But when classes finish later in the day, I don't really feel safe. I don't think there's ever any plainclothes officers on the bus at all. And because I have to catch a bus to John Hunter and then um, another one home, I'm waiting alone for a while. And, and prices have gone up now and it costs me $25 a week to get here. It all adds up. With an increase of 688,000 passenger boardings in the two years before 2007, the bus system is not something easily dismissed. Although increased support means increased funding, is this really something that we can forget about? Buses keep the community going, so we in turn need to do our bit to keep buses going.